M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We're on the Yesu 818, but the 817 will be the same. So I'm doing FT8 on my U5 link adapter. It's working really well. And that's this, just show you the cables here. A couple of speaker, speaker microphone cable comes out the front and then goes into this adapter here. Okay, and then we've got the cat and data cable going in the back of the Yesu. Just cat to cat, dat, data to data, obviously an antenna, and then the USB at the front going to the PC, and it just works. But I thought I'd show you the actual settings that I needed on the radio. So the first thing is obviously get it to band 40, so, or 7 megs, go to 7 megs. Now I'm the WSJTX is controlling the rig now because the cat's connected, so you can do that anyway. It will select it for you. The other thing is, we're, up and down on the modes, just go to digi mode, digi mode, then hold down the F button and turn to the first one is four, number 14 with this knob here, look, and change your cat rate to 38400 and that should be on your WSJTX software as well, I'll show you after. Then go to 27, oh actually 26, and select digi mode as user u then 27 digi shift is zero if you want to select the power all you do is come out completely push the f button briefly turn this knob look on the left here and you've got keep going until you get to power and then the middle one will let you let you select the meter was we'll selected alc at the moment SW Auto Mod, back to ALC, because you don't want your ALC to be too high. And that's it, that's completely worked for me. I'm gonna show you just my screen here for FT8. Um, before I, I have done a separate video, but I might as well show you the settings. File, let's go settings, right. Get you on the settings page. So look, settings page, obviously right click device manager, like so. And then double click, you can see your port 11 there. Then we've selected Yesu, it says 817 there, we can select 818. Click OK and then we'll go file settings, 818. COM 11, board rate 38400 and I've selected 8 and 2 here. Didn't touch the rest. Oh, cat up here, and then we've got cat control. And if you can test it here, it goes green basically. And you, and then you can test the PTT as well. And you see the radio go into, into transmit when you do that. Audio, USB, PNP sound device. And that's it, and away I went. And it works, and then to enable the TX, you select it here. You do get this other graph as well. Let's find that here, and I just right click, select a space for RXTX, yeah, right click, RX, click it, and then that's all I do. And then just go into enable TX, and if I want to talk to someone or communicate, I double click one of the green call signs is what I do. Double click, and it just starts the TX. It's TX in now. That's my little, these, when they go on and off these little things, they do bleep at you three times with a red light. It's a bit worrying at the time, but that's fine. That's completely normal. And then enable TX and it will scroll down. So that's it. Good luck with your FTA. And I do, I actually do this U5 link. It just works. Bye for now, 7.3. And it's just connect the cables, put the settings in. And, and obviously it'd be nice to have cables for this one that would fit my icon. It's identical looking unit. This one says Yesu. I just don't know if, if it is. Is it just a matter of having different cables so I can use it on my iCom? 7.3. Bye for now. All the best.